I am joined now by Jim Rivet of Archetype and Bill Labine, director at Jackie Nitschke Center. They are with us this morning to talk about a free public screening going on tomorrow at the Widener Center. Thank you both for being with us. Mm -hmm. Now, this screening is of a very important documentary that you directed, Jim. Tell us about that. Uh, the film is about uh, the life of Jackie Nitschke. She was the first Packer um, wife to actually go public with her struggles with addiction and actually overcoming them. And the Nitschke Center was named in her honor by her husband, Ray Nitschke. And I know we have some video of the film as well. You're going to be seeing some pretty important interviews as well in that film, correct? Right. Bart and Cherry Starr are in the, in the film. Um, Paul Hornig is in it. Beverly Lofton, uh, Bill Moyer's son, uh, William Moyers is in it. Chester Markle is in and interviewed in the, the film as well. And they give a really um, revealing testimony about their own relationship with um, addiction. And it was at a time that it probably wasn't proper, should we say, to talk about something like that. She was married to someone very important in the community. Right. Um, she, let, you know, Beverly Lofton really kind of exemplifies what it was like for a Packer wife to be in the limelight. And if you have any kind of personal struggles, it, it's hard to really go public with it and, and deal with them in, in the community. So. She really talks a lot about that. And Bill, something like alcoholism, something like addiction, it, it doesn't pick one person. That's correct. There's about 2,000 deaths in Wisconsin every year from drinking alone. That's not including the drug deaths. Um, it doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, what culture or race you're from. It's a physical illness that affects everybody. It, it, it goes through generations. And it's confusing and people don't understand it so nobody wants to talk about it mm -hmm. and that's a big part of what the purpose of the documentary is to raise public awareness that it is an illness that people do get well and the family needs to get well as well. in addition to the individual who's addicted mm -hmm. the family has to get well too and to know that there's help correct so the screening tomorrow it's free it's open to the public but there's also going to be a panel discussion um, can you tell me about what's going to be happening with that Right, we, with the panel, we really want to educate families on what families can do and the resources available for families and to let know, people know that families need to recover as well. If one person in a family unit can get healthy and learn how to love without being fearful or, or enabling, it ripples through the entire family and it, it allows the family to get well and which affects the community at large. And I know our own Robert Hornacek will actually be emceeing mm -hmm. the event tomorrow. It's at 6.30 tomorrow night at the Widener Center. Um, what is it? It, you want to tell people on why they should come out tomorrow? Well, I think th the main thing is really um, the Jackie Nitschke Center has taken a really progressive stance on um, having a dialogue about addiction in the community. Um, and, and some of the statistics are startling on what's happening in, in the community. And so it's just a great way to come out and, and see some of the, the Packer legacy. And also, you know, Ray Nitschke was a, such a superstar. And to see their life revealed about what really happened. Amy Nitschke's in the film, too, his daughter. And mm -hmm. it's just, uh, it's an eye-opener. And I think a lot of people said, too, seeing what Jackie did, coming out, getting right. help, changing something. Right. And the recovery community in, the, in, in, the, in Green Bay is so huge. I think that's one thing I've been able to witness. I didn't know a lot about that. But um, their support is amazing. And they look after one another, and I think that's what's going to be really critical that everybody come. Well, thank you to both of you for being with us this morning. You can go to our website to learn more about that showing that's happening tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. at the Widener Center, free, open to the public. Thank you both for Thanks being for with us. us. Thank you.